Hello, my name is Chris and I'm going to be previewing the RuneQuest character app today. You can find it at rq-web.herokuapp.com. It's still in beta, but it's pretty full functional now, so I'm just doing a couple of walkthrough videos. Today I'm going to talk about how to create a character. Assuming you've signed in, you've registered, logged in, uh, you can just go add content, create character. So here we'll make a character called Darmast Trueface. And who is an earnest young warrior and potential hero? So from here, you can choose a character portrait. I uh, highly recommend it, otherwise you end up with a strange little bonum. But uh, from here, we'll just pick a, where's a good picture? We get lots of different art in here. So we will choose, all right, Darmast is a female. You choose a homeland. These are all user created, uh, but we've got the basics in here. So we'll say this, Darmas from Old Tarsh, and as a young warrior and potential hero, uh, we'll say Light Infantry, and a worshipper of, let's make it Stormbull to be interested. So from there you go to Personal History, and this basically maps to the Personal History chapter in creating a Glorantha character. So in here you can basically set the amount of wealth that is uh, accumulated through that process, gains to reputation, or passion. So we're going to put in here Hatred of Lunars. We'll imagine something pretty bad happened to her. Um, we'll put loyalty to her family, saying something good happened there, and we'll even bump that up a little bit. And uh, then we'll put in one more, so fear of dragons. So let's say she was part of the Dragon Rise. Skills that come up a lot are Orate, so we'll give her a small bonus in Orate, and Battle. Again, normally you would go through the entire process, but here I'm just trying to quickly simulate to show folks how things work. So from there, we go into rune affinities. We get to choose one rune at 60%, one rune at 40 one rune at 20%. And my cult's runes are air, death, and beast. And we have a bonus of 10% to our earth. So I think we're going to take air. Earth seems pretty good. And fire, sky. Let's go water, just for kicks. And But over here, we're definitely going to go death. And we're going to go beast for our power runes. From here, then, we also get 50 points to spread across the runes. I'd like to have a good, strong air score, so I'll put some there. And then I'll put another 10 in beast and 20 in death. And that's our 50 points. You can add more. Um, I'm not uh, policing anyone here, but just stick to how it's normally done. So from here, you've got uh, your statistics. This basically simulates rolling all d6s, but re-rolling one. So you get a fairly heroic uh, set of stats here. And then from down below, you can choose where you're going to apply your rune bonuses. So you can choose between the normal stat or charisma for each of them. And we'll apply the homeland, and then we go on. So this is where you take all of the skills and passions from your homeland. From here, we're going to put ride horse. Anytime somebody has entered any in a field, it'll give you a choice here. And then you can make it, uh, you can pick what you'd like. Also, the skill choices from within the game have been modeled, so I can choose between composite bow or sling, and I'll take the bow. From there, I move on to my occup occupation as light infantry. I get these skills automatically, battle, hide, first aid. I'm going to take loyalty to a leader. We'll imagine she's working with uh, somebody kind of cool. We'll give her a bonus to her broadsword. And we are going to get shield later, so we'll also go javelin. That seems like a good pick. Shield will be medium shield. Another 25% bonus to... Let's go dagger. You never know when you're going to need that. Equipment is also provided by the occupation, so this is something that will end up on, uh, on Darnast uh, at the end of the creation. So then we move on to cult. So we start off as a, an initiate. Of course, you can go higher in here. Rune spells, it will automatically offer you the rune spells from your cult. So we're going to take Berserker for her. Um, face Chaos and Impede Chaos, because she's a Stormbull. Spirit Magic, you get the full list from your cult plus the associated cults. So sometimes these will be a little bit uh, duplicative, but this is the full list of what she's got hold of. So we'll give her, and here you have to enter the points, so two points of Protection Magic. You're supposed to get five from the cult. Uh, and then we'll go strength of two points. And then we'll go 
vigor of two points, which is six points. So we'll go back here and give protection one. So going through here, these are the skill bonuses that you get from the cult. And then you can add 20% to one cult skill. So we'll give her sense chaos and intimidate there. She gets a passion bonus, so we'll uh, give her devotion to Storm Bowl. And then she gets a cultural weapon bonus, so we're going to add that to Broadsword as well. Then we go in and we get to the final step, which is choosing your personal skills. So these are skills that you get a bonus to. Up top, you have all of the skills that are already on your character, along with their current rankings. And then you have everything else, so you can basically choose whatever you'd like. So from here, we're going to add 25% to her 75% Broadsword, bring that up to 100 we're going to do the same thing with medium shield, bring it up to 95. Um, in terms of javelin, why not? Let's make her an expert shot. So she really is a pretty scary warrior here. And then we will do give her a bonus to worship Stormbull, survival. Imagine she's been out in the woods a fair bit. And then we should have sense chaos here. And she's already intimidating, so... We'll give her something, uh, oh, let's give her a bonus to meditate. Show an unusual quiet side. And there you have Dowermast. Uh, so all of the stats are here. Uh, you can, on a normal laptop, mouse over and get more information about different things. You have all of the skills, they're calculated. So if you look under each skill, you can see the base, the history, um, the categories, that's your category modifiers your homeland, occupation, cult, and any other modifiers, for example, personal skills. And you have the same kind of thing for your passions down here, where they came from, what bonuses you've got. So for example, base 70% that we created up front. You've got all your skill categories, all of your abilities are, are uh, calculated for you, your runes are tracked, and then you're also set up uh, for tracking it in the game. So I can go in here and I can say, well, she found the ghost mask. We'll update the state. That's now saved, and anytime you can basically keep track of your equipment there. Also built-in calculations for wounds. So if, for example, she takes a nasty blow to her head, uh, which goes down to minus four, we'll update the state. The red shows that, uh, that her head is effectively disabled. The hit point penalty is also taken off the hit points here. And you can track, for example, updating the state here. Um, if you heal this here, it'll also heal over the hit points. So she goes back to, let's say, one. Somebody heals her up a bit. Her head is now okay. And if all of this goes, so if she has a really, really bad day, her left arm and her right arm go down to minus eight hit points each. This covers the total hit points that she's taken. The red shows that she is now dead or in danger of dying. And, uh, and that basically helps you keep track of things through the game. So that is making a character and the basic functionality of a character. Once you have your character made, you can always go in and modify. So you can go in here and change anything you'd like. You have all the runes, all the power runes. And you, when you do make a modification, you can set an event. So this could be uh, Earth Season in 1625. And in that season, her orate got a little bit better, so that goes up to 28. Her meditate got a little better, that goes up to 28. She decided to do some more weightlifting, which she probably doesn't need, so maybe she does some agility training instead, so she gets a bonus there. She gets a little bit more angry at the, oops, that's going to stay 60, a little bit more angry at the lunars here, so we'll bump that up to 70. Um, and then we can also put her armor in, so she gets three points of armor in the head, three points in the arms, we'll just give her three across the board. So there we'll update, and then you can see she's got her armor in here, her dexterity has gone up, and you can see the modifier from the Earth season, so you can see when things happened, what went on. Also from modify, you can go down here and you can add traits. And this is where you can add new passions, add in a rune spell from anything in the list. So say she makes a friend and learns the cloud clear rune spell, and in addition to that, she picks up the uh, Detect Magic, Spirit Magic spell, with one point. We'll save that. And then, again, in her abilities, we have got Cloud Clear, we have Detect Magic. 
and the other updates have been made as well. So that is pretty much it for characters. Again, the, the interesting thing is when you've got the different homelands, occupations, and cults, you can combine them, and basically uh, it's set up to, to fully manage and, and run uh, a character. And again, RuneQuest, if you've played it, uh, amazing game, can take a little while to make a character, so the ability to bring it down to something like uh, five or six minutes is, uh, is, in my humble opinion, pretty cool and useful. So if you have any questions, just feel free to let me down know down below the video. I'm also on the RuneQuest forum on the uh, BRP uh, site, and uh, happy to get any feedback and see how we can make this better. Thanks.